This is the midday prayer for Monday, August 17. My name is Margaret Walters, and it's my privilege to help lead you in prayer today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the order of service is on the website if you would like to uh, follow along and say the responses. So before our prayer begins, we acknowledge that we are living in the tra traditional territories of the Lekwungen peoples. In the name of the source of all love and of the beloved who reveals the face of love and of the Holy Spirit who binds us in love. Amen. Today we celebrate God's faithful love for us as we do every day. A love that endures through everything that comes our way in life. This unconditional love is the one thing that we can count on and we cannot diminish with our own failings. Truly this is something to be glad about. Psalm 100 Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. This week I came across a little meditation written by the poet uh, Rainer Maria Rilke and it really spoke to me probably because I'm always asking uh, too many questions of life about what the meaning of it all is and my place within it and uh, so this, this spoke to me, perhaps it will speak to you. Have patience with everything unresolved in your heart and try to love the questions themselves as if they were locked rooms or books written in a very foreign language. Do not search for the answers which could not be given to you now because you would not be able to live them. And the point is to live everything. Live the question now. Perhaps then someday far in the future, you will gradually, without even noticing it, live your way into the answer. Reina Maria Rilke. And we continue with Psalm 63, a prayer of longing for God's presence. O oh God, you are my God, I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life. Your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. 
I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. I love in that psalm how it begins with the feeling that we all feel so often, that we are in a dry and weary land with no water, and we cannot feel God's presence. But then it moves into this this act of trust and faith in God's steadfast love. And then from that proclamation of faith comes the joy and the knowledge that God is always with us, whether we know it or not. I ask you if you would like to join in the psalm response, which is found in the order of service. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. Our Gospel reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 32 to 37. I'm going to read this twice and leave some silence in between both times to allow the words to penetrate and speak to you. Again, we're, we're looking at that beautiful theme of God's steadfast love and presence with us. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them.
Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. We continue our silent reflection, drawing the needs of the world into our circle of love through the Holy Spirit. And I invite you to think of, first of all, your family, your friends, your loved ones, and draw them into your circle of love. And then after this, we can think about our community, our city within which we live, and then our country and all of its needs, and then the needs of the whole world. So let's just take some silence now to offer up our prayers. Gracious God, accept these prayers in the name of our brother Jesus. Amen. And we pray together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. And for our closing prayer today, we will choose again the Celtic canticle, which speaks so beautifully of Christ's 
presence with us always and through everything as we live in Christ. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for being with me today.